Hi guys, Ali Taylor down here at Heron's Reach and today I'm testing the new tailor-made P7 MB irons. Now, I'll be honest, it's a while since I've been excited as I am today about testing a set of blades. Basically because I'm possibly looking at putting blades back in the bag, and when I say possibly, I'm 90% there. So it's kind of come really timely for me that TaylorMade have released some new blades. We're gonna have a look at the, a little close up look at the P7MBs. I'm gonna hit some shots in the range here on Trackman and just give you some general performance numbers. Then I'm gonna go out on the course, hit some little shots around the green, because certainly for me, it's when I get into those little finesse shots and some of the shots I'm looking to play different trajectory, where I think blades are maybe gonna just give me that little bit extra. I have been playing around with blades for the last couple of months and I kind of feel my ball striking's there. It'll be interesting to see, I've got five iron, seven iron and nine iron. Super confident that seven and nine I'll be very comfortable with. It'll be interesting to see how the five iron performs, but let's get hitting these because these are a seriously good looking iron. So TaylorMade have released three new sets. They've gone for the P7 MB, the MC, and the P770. Now I've already reviewed the P770s and they were good, they, they were nice. Maybe didn't tick all the boxes that I would be looking for in an iron, but I think they're gonna tick a lot of boxes, but today's video is about this. Now this is a serious looking golf club. Doesn't get much better looking. Let's have a little close up look. Not loads of tech in these as you'd expect. So this is for the guy or woman who's a great ball striker who's looking for that ultimate feel and control that a blade iron will give you. So when you look at the close up of the head, you know, just a really, really traditional looking blade. I actually love the fact that just towards the toe, it's a little bit different shape. And that's about kind of making sure that they get the CG correctly positioned with each of the irons. So I've got a five iron, a seven iron and a nine iron in this set. And we're looking at the loft of the 5 iron being 27 degrees, the loft of the 7 iron being 35 degrees, and the loft on the 9 iron being 43 degrees. So very, very traditional loft. So not expecting, you know, these to go a long, long way, but really looking for a solid distance and lots and lots of control. Right, so as ever with my testing, I'm going to start on 7 iron, Titleist Pro V1X, Trackman, a lovely day down here, the sun's very, very low, so apologies if there's kind of a few shadows in here, but I can't do too much about that. I've got a really busy day coaching today, so I want to get these reviews done so you guys can hear my feedback on these irons. But when you look at this iron, like I said, when you look from behind, absolutely fantastic looking club. The P7MB, certainly for me, maybe the nicest looking iron TaylorMade I've ever had. And when you put it behind the golf ball, lovely compact head, nice thin top line. Oof, yeah, that for me ticks the boxes perfectly on looks. So let's hit some seven irons and let's see how this club performs. Oh, that feels. I think buttery is the word TaylorMade use. And we look at that shot, 158 yards carry, exactly what I would be looking for with a seven iron with that loft on. Now, I quite like the extra loft on the irons, simply because, of, just for me, as the irons have been getting stronger and stronger, yes, they're going further, but there's less backspin on the ball, so for me, there feels less control on them, but that straight away, if I knew I was gonna hit it like that every time with every one, three irons pitching wedge would be going in the bag with those. Not 100% sure they'll all be that good.
Again, that one felt really nice. Just turning back to target. So spin was a little bit lower on that one, which is a little bit surprising, but let's look. So when we look at the average for seven iron there, 160 carry, just under 5,700 spins. So maybe not quite as much spin as I thought I would get. But for me, that's right around where I would want my numbers to be with a seven iron for carry distance. Right, so that moves me nicely into nine iron. And again, you put that behind the ball. Do you know what? The more I talk about blades, the more I kind of maybe think I've made a mistake last couple of years going for something a bit more forgiving and a bit chunkier because I really like the compactness of the head, particularly in these short irons. Love the way the club sits behind the golf ball. And yeah, I mean, that's as good as it gets for me feel-wise. I mean, again, I think all Forge product is gonna feel very, very similar, but some decent numbers there for 131. 8,000, just under 8,000 spin. So yeah, pretty good. Yeah, love the looks, love the feel. And for me, you know, it's not, certainly as someone who considers himself a, a decent ball striker, comment below, you can tell me if you agree with that or not. I think, um, Seven iron and nine iron, no issue me putting something like this in the bag. And just love that, absolutely love that. Now, here's the scary thing. The five iron's that good, guys at TaylorMade might be getting a call before this video even goes live. But when we look at the nine iron numbers there, Again, for me, it's the consistency. We're looking at 131 carry, seven and a half thousand spin. And even though I've only hit three shots there, we can see that front to back dispersion, 129 carry to 133, just lots and lots of control on that shot. Right, so this is where blades get potentially a bit more challenging. So the five iron, still small, still thin top line. I love that. Not sure whether the performance wise is gonna love that, but I would be looking for this to be, be 180, 185 carry. But yeah, again, behind the golf balls, ticking the boxes, love the look. Oh. Take my money, take my money. That is great. Oof, it's actually gone a little bit further than I was expecting. Hmm, is that a dilemma? It was a good spin, it was a good strike, it was a good trajectory. Okay, let's go another couple of normal five rounds. Oh, I do think the blades might be going in the bag. 191. Now, to be fair, I think at the moment I'm swinging, I wouldn't say as well as I've ever swung, but certainly swinging well. And my ball striking since I went back to my old blades has been really, really good. So like I said at the start of this video, I think now's a really good time for me to be testing blades. And I'm very visual. I need to really love the look of a club as well. And I think maybe last couple of years, I haven't always gone for the best looking. I've gone for the one that I feel would be the best time when I struggle a little bit. And I think maybe I get a bit complacent when I do that. So let's have one more normal five round. Again, just it's a decent shot. And again, 190 carry. So we could see there, my average with five iron, round about that 190, which was maybe a couple of yards longer than I thought, at 192, but 4,000 spin. And I do love that performance. Okay, so for me, really impressed how the, the, the normal full shots performed. But the reason I really like blades is I am somebody who likes to work the ball. 
but I am somebody that likes controlling trajectory. So if I wanted to hit something in a little bit lower with this five iron, I just feel the way blades are designed to not just pop the ball up in the air. I can keep that flight down a little bit if I want. Lost a couple of yards on carry there, just down to trajectory, but I really, really like the playability. So let's say I want to hit a big high cut into a green. Not my strongest shot, I would add. So there it is. Big high cut. 185. So yeah, I mean, for me, there's a few clubs out there, but not many. You know, so far, this is just ticking absolutely all the boxes. But let's head out onto the course now, just hit some little shots around the green and see how the P7 NB stacks up. So I'm out on the 18th green at Heron's Reach. Par five, we're gonna imagine I'm here in two might be three some days but i've got a straightforward little shot off the green fairly tight lie and this is where i think the blades really come into their own that lovely compact head behind the golf ball really makes me feel like i can get that leading edge kind of down to the ground and tight so nine nine just going to pop this on the green a little bit right to left and let's see how the p7 mb feels It's nice, it's nice, it's soft. Don't know who's used the word buttery at TaylorMade, but it's not a bad little kind of description for the feel. A little bit clumsy on that one. Just pitch that a little bit further than I wanted. But again, feedback's really, really nice. And for me personally, that's what I'm looking for when I get round the greens. Ooh. But yeah, do like that, really, really like that. And definitely for me, the more shots I hit with this, the more I could definitely put these in the bag. Come on, let's chip one of these in. I'm gonna say, if I chip this one in, or chip one of the seven irons in, I'm gonna say I'm definitely gonna have a set of these. So I've got a chance, I broke a bit more. But yeah, I mean, looks good, feels really, really good. And I just love, like I said, that compactness of the head that's really gonna help me get a really good strike on these little tight lies around the green. So I'm just a little bit further off the green now. Still got to carry the ball over a little bit of kind of longer grass, get it on the green and let it just feed round to the right. And again, you know, like I said with the 9 and I love that little thin top line, that nice, small, compact head. Oh, here we go. Ooh, that went sideways at the end. But really does make me go back to kind of when I was a kid and I played blades. Used to love practicing the short game because of the feel of the clubs. Whereas maybe when I've been in some of the cast stuff in the last few years, because I haven't loved the feel of it, maybe I haven't spent that time on the short game. I need to go a little bit. But again, instantly I can tell there from kind of how it comes off the club face, whether it's hard, too hard, too soft. Now, break sideways, break sideways. Oh, do like that. Right, so I've got two more goes because I did make the comment with 9 and if I chip one in, I'm definitely having a set. So come on, two more goes. Am I going to be putting the P7 MBs in the bag? Oh, the line's good. It's too soft. Too soft. Now, maybe my brain's going. Maybe it shouldn't be MBs, it should be MCs. Come on, let's chip one in. 
Ooh, fiery. Hit the flag. Oh. But again, absolutely love the feel of those. Right, so what am I thinking? I think if you've watched the all the video, you know what I'm thinking about these. I think they look good. They feel great. They give me the performance I'm looking for with full shots, but they also give me that little bit of performance around the green that I'm really, really looking for. So I would say over the last few years, I've tested a lot of products and there's not been that many, maybe three or four iron sets that I would instantly say, put it in the bag. My only concern is ball striking, but like we saw with the five iron there, it was only a few shots, but I have been playing blades last few couple of months and my ball striking has been great. So there is every chance that you might be seeing a what's in the bag in the next few weeks and there might be a new addition. So guys, hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, like it and share it. Comment below and I'll get back to as many people as I can. If you've enjoyed today's video, let me know if you enjoyed me getting out on the golf course a little bit for some of the testing. But if you have enjoyed it and you don't subscribe, click the button below, ring the notification bell, and then you'll find out whenever I drop a new video. Follow me on all my social media platforms, all under Ali Taylor Golf. Hopefully catch up with some of you guys down here soon. Stay in contact.